Right now in Good Morning Northwest, the latest in a missing persons case where police believe two 21 year olds are headed with a two year old who was supposed to be returned to the mom a week ago. And a man is arrested after allegedly pointing a gun at a person he nearly crashed into. We've got the details. And the reason why multiple people in the Bend County Jail have been released, but the Bend County Sheriff's Office is saying. And meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full forecast. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good Morning Northwest on your side. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica DeLal. And I'm Jill Sperling. It is 5 a.m. on Monday, June 10th. Jessica, how was your weekend? It was great. Did a lot this weekend, and we're going to talk about some of it later, so I'm just going to keep it a little sneak preview for okay. now. But well, did the fun. weather stay nice for you? It was pretty nice. It was Good. hot, just like meteorologist Tiffany Savona had predicted, and we'll check mm -hmm. in with her now <laughs> to see if we're going to get more of that this week. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tiffany. Good morning, ladies. And yes, the heat was on this weekend. We saw 80s and 90s as expected, and it's still going to stay on the warm side today. In fact, it is pretty warm already out there. As we take a live look out at Giza Stadium, this is in Pasco, courtesy of our Dust Devil Sky Cam, and the Dust Devils are off today, and they'll be away all week at playing the Hillsborough Hops. Temperatures this morning are in the 60s, so it's pretty mild out there. 62 in Walla Walla at 64 in the Tri-City, 63 Hermiston, 60 degrees in Prosser, and 60 in Yakima. So as we go throughout the rest of the morning hours, temperatures will be rising through the 60s, 80 by noon in Yakima, 87 today with just a few high-level clouds. Tri-Cities, 81 by noon, 88 degrees by 5 o'clock, and then in Walla Walla, plenty of sun today winds on the light side highs climbing to around 84 degrees now this week is warm but we will see a cool down we'll let you know when that arrives and we'll have that full seven day forecast coming up in a bit ladies back to you Thank you, Tiffany. We begin with an update on a missing persons case out of Washington. Authorities now believe 21 year old Nadia Cole and 21 year old Aaron Daniel Ong have likely traveled to Mexico with Ong's two year old daughter, Soraya. Cole was initially reported missing to the Port of Seattle Police Department on May 29th when she was seen leaving the Seattle airport. Authorities believe the former Pullman resident may be traveling with Ong, who is from Moscow, Idaho. Initially, investigators believed Ong was traveling to Montana, but now they believe the pair likely traveled to Mexico in a black 2014 Cadillac XTS with an Idaho license 1L5147U. The Pullman Police Department have a warrant for Ong's arrest for custodial interference in the first degree. And this is for unlawfully retaining custody of Soraya when she was supposed to be returned to her mother on June 3rd. In crime news this morning, the Yakima Police Department is investigating two unrelated homicides, both happening overnight on Friday. YPD first responded to the 1900 block of Bogus Lane for a stabbing, and that was around 10.45 p.m. Authorities say a 33-year-old man entered his neighbor's house and attacked a 15-year-old girl. They say the girl's father tried to stop the attack, then was fatally stabbed. The 15-year-old girl was taken to the hospital for her injuries, which were not life-threatening. The suspect has been arrested on multiple felony charges, including first-degree murder. And later that same night, just after 1130, Yakima police responded to the scene of a shooting outside the season's performance hall in the 100 block of North Natchez. A 38 year old man was found with multiple gunshot wounds and later died at Yakima Multicare Hospital. YPD says the shooting appears gang related. Anyone with information on either of these homicides is asked to contact the Yakima Police Department. And a 25 year old man has been arrested after he allegedly pointed a gun at a person that he had nearly crashed into. The Kennewick Police Department responded to this crash in the area of West Canal Drive and North Cleveland Street around 1220 yesterday afternoon. Now witnesses reported the red SUV had run a stop sign and struck a fence. After the crash, witnesses say the driver started arguing with the driver of another vehicle. That's when he allegedly pointed the gun before running to a nearby apartment complex. Officers arrived and arrested the man without incident, but later finding a pistol inside the apartment. The suspect has been identified as 25-year-old Joel Briones. He faces multiple criminal charges, including assault in the second degree, hit and run, driving under the influence, and unlawful possession of firearms. 
The Benton County Sheriff's Office says multiple people who have been arrested and booked into the Benton County Jail have now been released. The Sheriff's Office says that's apparently happening because the Office of Public Defense is overwhelmed. There is a struggle to keep up with the cases, but it's a recent decision in federal court on a case from Oregon that's being blamed for this release of suspected criminals. You have the constitutional right to a speedy trial, but a group of people in Washington County, Oregon said they were stuck waiting too long for public defenders to become available to take their cases. The federal court decided that people have a right to legal counsel within seven days of their initial court appearance, and if that's not provided, then they will have to be released from custody. Lineage Logistics, the company that owns the cold freezer warehouse which caught fire in April, is speaking out. On Friday afternoon, a representative from Lineage sent us an email and the company says it's working with local officials and the demolition crew to keep the cleanup going at an efficient pace. They tell us in part Lineage's top priority continues to be health and safety and quote, both our local and national leaderships are focused on marshalling resources to accelerate fire recovery efforts. The company has set up a website where people can go to see updates and resource and get resources. We'll have a link to that at applevalleynewsnow.com after the newscast. Walla Walla residents have the opportunity to comment on a draft of the city's strategic plan for 2024 to 2028. And this is a document that guides the city's mission to enhance the quality of life in Walla Walla. The draft plan and comment form is available on the city's website. Printed copies are also available at City Hall until June 21st. And construction projects are scheduled to begin at Mill Creek today and the work will result in multiple closures to the public. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Walla Walla District says the project will improve conditions for endangered fish and improve flood risk management operations. It will also replace the boat ramp at Bennington Lake. It's quite an extensive project that will see Bennington Lake completely drained by the end of August. Kingfisher Trail, the entire South Levee, the pedestrian bridge near Mill Creek Dam and the area south of Rooks Park are closed until the end of October. Straight ahead on Good Morning Northwest, the results of an early clinical trial could mean fewer surgeries for women with breast cancer. When we come back, we take a look at the details in today's Medical Minute. Why do you Goodwill? Well, there are countless reasons. I come for the thrill of a deal, and I never miss out on the 50% off day. I like to hunt the bins for hidden gems. Goodwill lets you define your style with unique gifts and treasures around every corner. And giving back to your community just feels wonderful. With hundreds of reasons to shop at Goodwill, you can feel great about knowing 95.7 cents of every dollar you spend helps your community. Goodwill. Donate. Shop. Impact locally. Welcome to the NBA's grandest stage. When the situation gets real, the real one's gonna show up. These two teams decide who will be the NBA champion. Tip it off, set it off. The NBA Finals on ABC. Dear Nowhere, it was quite a journey to get to you. Jostling through ruts, winding through pines, and crawling up a mountain. But guess what? I'd do it all over again. Keep it wild. Forerunner. Right now, you can lease a new 2024 Forerunner for $489 per month. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. I got help to push back. I got help to push back. Libalvi helps us push back against Bipolar 1. One's daily prescription Libalvi is proven to treat manic or mixed episodes of Bipolar 1 in adults to help you push back. Elderly patients with dementia have increased risk of death or stroke. Do not take Libalvi if you are taking opioids or are in opioid withdrawal. The semidorphin in Libalvi can cause severe opioid withdrawal that can lead to hospitalization or increased risk of life-threatening overdose. Get emergency help if you have trouble breathing, become very drowsy with slowed or shallow breathing, feel faint, very dizzy, or confused, or have a fever, stiff muscles, rash, swollen glands, or problems with your liver, kidneys, heart, or lungs. Other serious side effects may include high cholesterol, weight gain, potentially fatal high blood sugar, uncontrolled body movements, which may be permanent, dizziness upon standing or falls. Are you ready? Ask your doctor about Libaldi. Looking for copay savings? For info, text copay to 45286. Want the power of five serum benefits in one? 
Olay Super Serum. Activates on skin to hydrate, smooth, visibly firm, brighten, and improve texture. It's my best skin yet. Olay. Life's better when you're under the American Family Insurance roof because they know your house is home base for their dreams. Whether it's a kid like me aiming for the big leagues, ready? Future rocket scientist, or a budding prima ballerina. When you feel totally protected, your family's free to pursue their dreams. She's good. Let's go. American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at amfam.com. Smoke City for Less. We are open seven days a week with now five locations. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. In your health headlines, treatment options for breast cancer are improving. The results of an early clinical trial may result in fewer surgical procedures for women with breast cancer. Perry Russell explains in this morning's Medical Minute. Researchers are always looking for ways to improve breast cancer treatment for women, and a recent study may allow women to have one less surgery. Currently, breast cancer is often treated by cutting out the tissue, called a mastectomy, and then having radiation treatment. This means the reconstruction must be delayed until radiation has been completed, resulting in a long period of time without breast-like tissue present. A recent study from the MD Anderson Cancer Center revealed there may be a way for the mastectomy and reconstruction to occur at the same time. This could limit the number of surgeries women have to endure and eliminate the amount of time without breast tissue present. Women would undergo radiation first and then have the mastectomy so the reconstruction could happen simultaneously. Breast reconstruction occurring at the same time could improve patient social outcomes, cost less, and offer better cosmetic results. This was a phase two clinical trial, meaning there's still more research that needs to be done. With this Medical Minute, I'm Perry Russom, ABC News. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, rising temperatures in the world's oceans have been a big concern as of late. When we come back, we take a look at activists that organized a kayak fleet to help raise awareness around the world. But first, meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full forecast. We'll be right back. Life can be hard. With Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. Dear Triathlon, let's splash through rushing rivers, take on iconic trails, and race straight to the top. What's the point of winning if you can't kick back and enjoy the view? Yours, Toyota SUVs. Toyota is the number one retail brand for 12 years in a row. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Visit us at our new urban wine bar in historic downtown Kennewick. Choose from a variety of wines and food from our expanded menu. Enjoy time with friends old and new. After hours with riverfront views from our shaded patio, we are Murray Gaston Wine Bar. Workers and the families of deceased workers who worked at the Hanford site are now eligible for compensation for diseases and illnesses. This may be in addition to compensation already being received. Smart Law will be hosting a Hanford Workers' Compensation Educational Dinner at their Kennewick office Thursday, June 20th at 6 p.m. To register, call 509-735-5555. Dinner provided. Smart Law, Smart Choice. Hey, your homework done? Yep. Mm. Hey, is your homework done? This kind of is homework. So, what do you think? Uh, I'm so proud of you. Can I play some more? Is all your work done? Washington's Lottery is a proud partner in the goal to promote college and career training. Each time you play, you're helping students statewide. Free flags, sweet treats, and more. Hi, I'm Stacy Lee with Apple Valley News Now's Great American Flag Giveaway. This Friday, starting at 11, come to Tri-Cities Chaplaincy, where the first 50 guests get a new, full-sized American flag. At Tri-Cities Chaplaincy, our goal is to guide the community to live their best lives, even and especially through the end of life. Come learn about our programs and pick up an American flag at Tri-Cities Chaplaincy. Visit us June 14th from 11 to 1 at 1480 Fowler Street, Richland. For 600 different cigars and 125 pipes, 
pipe tobaccos. It's the educated cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the educated cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the educated cigar. At the educated cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998. Open seven days a week. Fly the Northwest over North Idaho's Lake Pend Oreille, Tuesday at 6. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Tiffany Savona. Good morning. Hope everyone had a great weekend. It was a hot weekend all across the region, and we're going to keep that warm weather going as we head into the new work week. Let's talk about your holiday countdown. Only six days until Father's Day. So you got less than a week to figure out what to do with dad. Nine days until Juneteenth. We have 10 days until summer begins, although it's already felt like summer here for quite some time. And the 4th of July, 24 days away. So the countdown is on and a lot of kids, it's their last week of school. So congratulations to them. Temperatures right now are in the 50s and 60s. 60, 62 in Walla Walla at 64 currently in the Tri-Cities, 64 at Hanford, 60 in Yakima, a little bit cooler in Prosser and Dayton coming in in the low to middle 50s out there. Winds have been fairly light overnight and they'll stay between 5 and 15 miles per hour today, although those winds are going to crank up starting tomorrow. All is quiet. There's a storm system off to our east, bringing rain to portions of Montana. There are some clouds pushing on the coast of Washington right now. So Seattle and even down into Portland, we do have some cloud cover moving in. Just a few high clouds expected today. And then an upper level disturbance will bring us a few more clouds tomorrow. So let's give you the play by play. Temperatures on the mild side this morning. We'll see a few high clouds this afternoon. Not many high temperatures today will be climbing back into the upper 80s. So we are expecting another very warm day. Temperatures well above average for this time of year. 88 for a high temperature in the Tri-Cities. We may hit 90 at Hanford if we're lucky. 88 in Hermiston, 84 Walla Walla, 87 in Yakima, and 88 degrees in Toppenish. If you have the day off or if you're going boating today, well, you don't have to worry about any rain. The winds are going to be fairly light as well. Winds at the southwest, 5 to 15. Water temperatures are still in the lower 50s in the river. So keep in mind, still some chilly water temperatures, but the UV index is going to be very high, so you need to apply that sunscreen and be sure to reapply SPF of at least 30 or higher. Tonight, clear, mild, not going to be quite as warm as what we're dealing with this morning. We're dropping back down into the mid and upper 50s. Tomorrow, we will see more in the way of cloud cover as an upper level disturbance passes through. The wind will pick up, so tomorrow is looking like a windy day. We're talking about wind gusts as high as 40, maybe 45 miles per hour. 88 for your high temperature tomorrow in the Tri-Cities, 87 in Hermiston, 84 in Walla Walla, 85 in Yakima, and 87 degrees in Prosser. So the warm, almost hot weather, as you can call it, close to 90 today and tomorrow. Then temperatures come down a few degrees, but not much. We'll keep it above average at least through Thursday. Then we'll have another disturbance that will move in this weekend. Looks like it'll keep us dry, but it'll cool us down significantly. We drop down into the upper 70s Saturday and Sunday. Yakima, 87 today, 85 tomorrow. 80s can continue Friday we see a little bit of a drop in lower 70s for dad's weekend so a much cooler weekend on tap for us Walla Walla 84 today and tomorrow and then we have 70s returning by the weekend Hermiston 88 today 87 and windy tomorrow and then we'll keep it warm with temperatures dropping into the upper 70s Saturday and Sunday ladies Thank you, Tiffany. And environment news, data from the EU Climate Service shows the planet has endured 12 straight months of record-breaking heat. Rising temperatures in the world's oceans and the impact it has on weather patterns are of concern. Activists organized a kayak fleet to advocate for more protections in southern Patagonia. CNN's Stefano Pazabon has more. Sometimes climate activism can be real fun. Last week, this group of kayakers from Argentina and Chile paddled up in the Beagle Channel to mark International Environment Day. It's the third time we organized this regatta, and we want this to become a tradition. We want to demand better protection for our sea. 
The Beagle Channel is a stretch of water cutting through the archipelago of the Tierra del Fuego, at the bottom of South America. These waters are closer to Antarctica than to Buenos Aires, but global warming has arrived even here. In the last 20 years, the Southern Ocean has been warming up faster, on average, than the rest of the world's waters, experts have warned. What's happening in the Southern Ocean is impacting the global oceans, and that's primarily linked through what uh, we call the thermohaline circulation, or otherwise known as the uh, like the ocean conveyor belt, and that's this long um, meandering pathway of water and heat through the global ocean. Warmer water temperatures mean the ice sheets in Antarctica are melting faster, causing sea levels to rise and erosion. But some regions are more exposed than others. What's counterintuitive is that as ice sheets melt and sea level rises, it does not rise level across the globe. Increased melting in Western Antarctica, for example, can have a direct impact on higher water rises in the east coast of the United States. Higher temperatures in Tierra del Fuego have also impacted the growth of algae and the breeding of salmon, which in Chile represents the second largest export industry after copper. Argentina instead has banned salmon farming in a historic decision in 2021 part of a strategy to pursue a healthy relationship with the sea. Stefano Pozzebon, CNN, Bogota. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, if you're a fan of crime series, you'll want to listen up. A new season of Criminal Minds is now streaming, and we've got the details in your entertainment news. That is next. If there's one thing we like, it's choices. Find yours with Ford F-150. Gas, hybrid, or all electric. What you choose to do with that much power is up to you. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Poor maintenance, old tires, bad brakes, that could be why the big truck hit you. At my law firm, we have a team that knows big truck wrecks. Big truck insurance companies know that we have the knowledge and experience to get you paid everything you deserve. Call the heavy hitter. When I call the insurance companies, they listen. Hit by a big truck, I know how to be their insurance companies. I'm attorney Mariana Morales, the big truck heavy hitter. The heavy hitter is one for you. Call 853 my family's been serving the Tri-Cities for 85 years at Griggs and the Tri-Cities Ace Stores. And we have some deals we don't want you to miss. Get ready for hot weather. This fan is a steal at $27.88. The grill makes a great Father's Day gift. We have many in stock at great prices. Steel weed trimmers, a great value at $149.99. 12 different craftsman tools, great Father's Day gifts, only $14.99. See all the deals using this QR code. Come see us at Griggs and the Tri-Cities Ace Stores. And thank, thank you, you for your, your business. business. Your best days of the year start here at Kubota Orange Days. It's the year's biggest selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. Plus, get zero down and 0% APR for 84 months or up to $2,800 off select Kubota tractors. Orange goes all day. Sales ending soon. Visit your local dealer today. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. <laughs> There's working you. And then there's chill you. Chill you is more carefree and curious, more present, more relaxed, more fun. Chill you is the best you. There you are. Bring back your chill you with an escape to Coeur d'Alene, the city by the lake. Win a dream giveaway at cda4.fun. If there's one thing we like, it's choices. Find yours with Ford F-150. Gas, hybrid, or all electric. What you choose to do with that much power is up to you. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. 
Good Morning Northwest streams all day at applevalleynewsnow.com and our mobile apps. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. In your entertainment news, fans of crime series, you'll want to listen to this. A new season of Criminal Minds is now streaming on Paramount Plus. Rick Damagella has the latest. I have a secret. And you have to decide if it's true or false. The behavioral analysis unit must rely on a serial killer in the new season of Criminal Minds Evolution. Uh, we just found out that Elias Voigt was transferred two weeks ago from Seattle to Virginia. Before that, he spent some time on the ninth floor. The, this building? He was here. Who the hell approved that transfer? His what? most dangerous weapon is his mind. And even though he's locked behind bars that are in a room that are behind up more bars, he still has um, a power and a control that's really unnerving. My theory is a killer trained by the government. Could be Rangers, could be SEAL Team. Showrunner Erica Messer says the switch to streaming has opened things up for the series. One of the things that excited me the most about bringing it back for streaming and Paramount Plus in particular was that um, it was going to allow us this opportunity to really, you know, we're going to get at least 10 more minutes of screen time. Even though it's only a 10 episode season, we're gonna get to dive in deeper every episode. And what that's afforded us is actually more character work. We will not rely on help from a serial killer. Oh, you most certainly will. In Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. Jill, have you seen Criminal Minds? I haven't, but I, I know haven't Riley Fitzgerald is a big fan, so she's excited about this. I really like true crime. Okay, you do? Yeah. So I watch a lot of true crime, even though I probably shouldn't. I get a little paranoid. It looks like something I would like, but I've just never got into it. Yeah, same here. But now I, I think it looks want good to after watching that. Yeah. Looks really good. Exciting stuff. Coming up on Good Morning Northwest, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is taking action to reduce the risk of human-caused wildfires. We have what plans are being implemented today to do just that. Well, it's a scary situation in Oregon when a bull jumps over an arena fence. We've got that story next. In today's Tech Bytes, Apple kicks off its Worldwide Developers Conference debuting AI features. A new version of Siri will reportedly take actions for you inside of Apple's own apps. Expect updates on iOS 18, Mac OS 15, and the international launch of Vision Pro. Microsoft has unveiled a new all-digital console. The Xbox Series X will be available later this year for $449. Microsoft also announced a black version with two terabytes of storage and a white Series S with one terabyte. Finally, Meta is rolling out massive group chats with new messenger communities. Users can now create groups with up to 5,000 members without a Facebook page. People who create a community will have the power to remove someone from the chat. Meta is rolling out the feature to everyone soon. Those are your Tech Bytes. Have a great day. Some people just know that the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate. Because there are people out there who aren't you. A lot of them. And you don't drive like, whoa. I don't want my child being raised by a robot. Other drivers are not you. Yes, thank you so much to all 50 of my subscribers. Nope, definitely not you. Save with DriveWise and get a rate based on you. You're in good hands with Allstate. Starbucks Frappuccino drinks. Mm. The feeling of a comforting hug from your Nana, but with the taste of creamy, delicious coffee. Oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time. Aqua de Joe Parfum, deeply intense. Giorgio Armani. At Macy's, the fragrance destination. Right now in Good Morning Northwest, taking action to reduce the risk of human-caused wildfires, the bans that are being implemented today. Plus, frightening moments during a rodeo in Sisters, Oregon, when a bull jumps over an arena fence. We have the latest. And a look at a Washington nonprofit that helps families experiencing homelessness hold birthday parties for their kids. And meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full forecast. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. 
This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica Dalal. And I'm Jill Sperling. It is 5.30 on Monday, June 10th. It was a hot weekend this weekend, wasn't it, Jill? It was a little bit warm, yes, I and a little not muggy. Be that warm soon enough. Well, at least I'm <laughs> hoping so, because it was a little too hot for my taste. But we'll check in with meteorologist Tiffany Savona now. Tiffany, what kind of temperatures are we going to be seeing this week? You know, the hot weather is going to stick around for the first couple of days, and then we'll start to see a cooling trend as we head toward the end of the week and into Father's Day weekend. So if you're not a fan of the heat, you just got to wait a couple of days. It's a pretty start once again. The sun is out. The sprinklers are going behind Giza Stadium out of our Dust Devil Sky Cam in Pasco. It will be a quiet week as the Dust Devils are away on the road all week long. Temperatures are on the mild side. We're in the 50s and 60s. Not a bad start. So you may need to not even take the jacket with you, depending on your tolerance, that is. 64 in the Tri-City, 62 in Walla Walla, 63 in Hermiston, and 62 in Toppenish. We're down to 59 in Ellensburg. Now, if the kids are already out of school, you're looking for something to do, it's going to be a great pool day. Temperatures will be in the lower 70s around 9. By noon, we're in the lower 80s, and look for highs in the upper 80s later on this afternoon. Lots of sunshine. Make sure you bring the shades. UV index is going to be very high, so you'll need plenty of sunscreen and you need to reapply at least every two hours, a little bit more frequently once you get in and out of the water. We'll let you know when that cool down will arrive and how cool we'll get coming up in a little bit. Ladies, back to you. Thank you, Tiffany. And talking about some fire news, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Walla Walla District is taking action to reduce the risk of human-caused wildfires this summer. Starting today, the Corps is implementing a seasonal ban on wood fires in all of its fire rings, grills, and metal containers at sites along the Lower Snake River. Hood Park, Charbonneau Park, and Fishhook Park are excluded from the ban. Now, you can still use charcoal and propane grills for cooking, but fires on the ground or in rock rings are never allowed at these sites. Visitors are also being asked to take extra precautions with anything that could start a fire. That includes cigarettes, vehicle exhaust systems, and charcoal briquettes. And here's a reminder of how quickly a fire can spread. In Frank Franklin County on Friday, a large wildfire took firefighters a few hours to put out. The call for help came in just before noon after flames and smoke were spotted in the 2900 block of Sacagawea Park Drive. People could see a large cloud of black smoke as far away as Kennewick. Fire agencies blocked off a section of the road as they moved throughout the field, using large trucks to spray water on several hot spots. The wind carried the flames closer to the road, and flames at one point were several feet tall as they burned through the dry vegetation. The cause of the fire is under investigation. In Renton, Washington, two mothers created Birthday Dreams, a nonprofit that gets birthday party supplies and gives them to children that are experiencing homelessness. In 15 years, they've helped 15,000 kids, and they do this silently. According to the development director, they want to help parents who are struggling, helping provide that moment of joy for their kids so that the child can see their parents doing it for them. However, sometimes they make a show of it, calling in backup like former Seahawks player Alonzo Mitts and Randall Morris. Randall helps support this nonprofit with donations and guest appearances here and there. They've had a hard time. They've had a hard life. Man, let's, let's give them something that they could be thankful for. Birthday Dinners is planning a, its annual fundraiser later this fall. A scary scene at a rodeo in Sisters, Oregon over the weekend when a bull jumps over an arena fence. Kelsey McGee says the incident that left four people injured Saturday night. At the Sisters Rodeo Saturday night, the crowd was enjoying the bull riding event when they experienced a terrifying encounter, sparking a frantic run for safety. After a bull jumped over the fence, escaping from the arena and injuring at least four people. Everybody behind me was just yelling and it was, everybody was just trying to get out of the way. Rodeo is an inherently dangerous sport, and especially bull riding. Uh, but it is a very rare occasion. We've never had it here at Sisters Rodeo. Um, it, it, do, it does happen, but uh, what we do, we plan for it. The rodeo announcer immediately activated the emergency response plan. Get to higher ground. There's a bull out. 
Fortunately, we just had a great response from our, our rodeo uh, pickup men, uh, as well as uh, a lot of the security staff and medical folks to uh, really uh, prevent a lot of other injuries. The bull was safely contained by rodeo livestock professionals and placed into a pen. This is the fence the bull jumped, running out through the rodeo grounds and back to the livestock holding pens. Leslie Lang Rodeo Company provides the livestock for the rodeo, horses and bulls. Last night was a rarity. Um, as a stock contractor hired by the Sisters Rodeo and representing the Sisters Rodeo, you know, that's not something that we ever want to have happen. After the bull was captured, it was taken home Saturday night. We obviously can't replicate that scenario, but we're going to take him home, buck him again, um, do some training with him and try to, you know, never put him in that situation again. Now, rodeo staff has met with some of the injured people, saying they're in good spirits. The final performance of the Sisters Rodeo still took place. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, Tri-Cities was taken over by the Tri-Town Get Down Music Festival over the weekend, and many artists from all over took to the stage. That's right, and I, along with our very own Riley Fitzgerald, got to attend. When we come back, we meet some of the artists that got to play. Keep it right here. Poor maintenance, old tires, bad brakes, that could be why the big truck hits you. Hit by a big truck? I know how to be their insurance companies. I'm attorney Mariana Morales, the big truck, heavy hit. Call 853-2222. I've been with U.S. Cellular for 27 years. They've always taken care of me. But when they asked me to talk to you about their special customer event, Us Days, I said, I gotta get in shape. So they sent me this Hollywood trainer. Oh, this guy's no joke. Hmm. Us days means exclusive deals just for us customers. Now let's try burpees. Us days is back at U.S. Cellular. Current customers get $1,200 off any phone, plus $300 off any tablet. For 600 different cigars and 125 pipe tobaccos, it's the Educated Cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the Educated Cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the Educated Cigar. At the Educated Cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998, open seven days a week. Save for Father's Day and more with Bymart's latest savings book, including $50 off a Lifetime Tamarack Angler 10-foot kayak. Save more now, only at Bymart. This is not just laundry. This is laundry that's one and done. This is the ultra-fast combo laundry machine that does both washing and drying cycles. This is revolutionizing laundry. This is GE Profile. Fred's has the GE Profile one and done laundry machine in stock and on sale for only $22.99. Fred's Appliance. We sell appliances, only appliances. Karen's about to retire. Here's what's going into her retirement. There's us. She raised us on our own. 10 years as my roller yeah. derby wife. Three. Three schools she's opened. She's a mother. I think we turned out all right. She's a friend. Our mothers can tell stories. <laughs> she's a teacher. She may be retiring, but she's not done. I'm never going to stop. Retirement is the sum of your life's work. Now what? Get income for life and protect your life's work with Prudential. Welcome to the NBA's grandest stage. When the situation gets real, the real one's going to show up. These two teams decide who will be the NBA champion. Tip it off. Set it off. The NBA Finals on ABC. Poor maintenance, old tires, bad brakes. That could be why the big truck hit you. Hit by a big truck? I know how to be their insurance companies. I'm attorney Mariana Morales, the big truck. Heavy hit. Call 853-2222. Fly the Northwest over North Idaho's Lake Pend Tuesday at 6. 
Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. So the Tritown Get Down Music Festival took place over the weekend. Yes, there were over 100 artists performing throughout the area, and we got to attend and see many of those famous acts. So much fun. So there were multiple venues, some of them including the Hapo Community Stage at John, uh, John Dam Plaza, the Emerald of Siam, the Fingernail, the Uptown Theater, and the Richland Player Stage, just to name a few. And we saw headlining artists Kyle and Hobo Johnson and the Lovemakers, and both artists really put on quite the show. They really did. The festival had something for everyone. There were separate mini festivals called Fusions. The Yakima Federal Farmers Fusion and the STEM Fusion were both free to all members of the community. The Farmers Fusion had more country and folk music type acts. The STEM Fusion had different workshops, like a coding workshop, kids workshops presented by The Reach, and even a how to DJ workshop. Huh. So Riley and I got the chance to talk to many of the artists and they talked about why performing for the community is so special. What I've noticed about up here is everyone really, you know, um, in Texas they can get a little rowdy, so maybe sometimes, you know, they're, you know, hooting and hollering and dance a little much, but I really love how people appreciate the songwriting and the attentiveness of the audiences. I find I find that a, a different if we're going to get personal and talk about my relationship with the audience and the um and the performing. Uh, I love uh, seeing the kids and their reactions and you know there's thing you can't predict how kids what they're gonna say or what they're gonna do. Meeting everyone, networking, obviously also doing my set, that was super dope, but networking and meeting with all these other artists and being in such a like a safe creative space was super dope. Another fusion were the music industry fusions. Yes, and those were daily panels with professionals from different industries that correlate with the music industry. The different industries being creativity, management, and media. And the creativity panel featured a talent scout and music engineer. The management panel featured artist managers and entertainment companies. So I got the chance to represent Apple Valley News Now on the media panel. And this was a Q&A between artists and other media professionals from the Tri-Cities. Several different topics were talked about such as media professionalism, how best to prepare for media interviews, and advice for artists on reaching out. Be yourself, honest answers, don't worry about answering eloquently, just say how you feel about it. Even if you can't put it into words, like just try to. You can usually pick up what you're trying to say. And again, we've been doing this for a long time, so we know what to tell you because we know how everybody gets nervous, what they're worried about, so we'll always like preface what you need to know. It was a great opportunity to talk about how journalism and the music industry can have a cohesive relationship. And I'm going to look forward to more of these in the future, hopefully. So Riley, overall, what was your favorite part this weekend? We had such a good time. We, I think Got just to see so many hanging artists. out, listening to all the music. Hanging out with you, that town. was the fun part. What was your favorite part? <laughs> well, hanging out with you <laughs> and then our digital content manager. She got to meet one of her favorite artists, Hobo Johnson. And yes. so I just loved seeing her interaction with him. <laughs> it was so, so cute. Much that fun. made my entire yeah. weekend. She said that she saw him in his first tour in 2017 or 2018. And he was like, I need proof. So he she was so excited. Yeah. And he was very surprised. <laughs> I love that. And we have good videos and pictures from that, too. So so shout out Morgan. <laughs> well, coming up next on Good Morning Northwest, it's a name that everyone now knows in women's basketball. We're talking about Caitlin Clark, why she's reportedly saying the Olympics have awakened a monster. But first, meteorologist Tiffany Savona will have your first alert full forecast. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Tri-Q Credit Union C3 Slam. It all happens July 13th and 14th at John Dam Plaza. When you get hurt on the job, you never know if you're going to get paid by Labor and Industries. Let Bothwell and Hamill fight on your behalf for your workers' comp. We can often increase your compensation. The sooner you call us, the better. If you were hurt at work, let us go to work to get you benefits. Call 509-584-4411 for a free consultation. Bothwell and Hamill.
from real quality that starts in our factory to real performance in your backyard. Steel tools are as tough and dependable as the people who use them. This Father's Day, give him the gift that's built for dad. Right now, save $50 on select AK System battery tool sets. Real steel. Welcome to Beaver Valley Lodge, your rustic lodging and event venue in the beautiful Leavenworth, Washington. Experience the great outdoors and enjoy the beauty of the mountains as you stay with us on our 50 acres in the Cascade foothills. Whether you're joining us for a wedding, retreat, vacation, or family reunion, we're here to make your stay unforgettable. We make it our goal for you to come as a guest, but leave as a friend. Book your stay today at beavervalleylodge.com. If you're only using facial moisturizer in the morning, did you know the best time for a skin renewal is at night? Olay Retinol 24 renews millions of surface skin cells while you sleep. Wake up to smoother, younger looking skin with Olay Retinol 24. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. Take flight over Lake Pondere in search of walleye. We have an incentivized angling program that allow anglers to win up to $1,000 for turning in walleye that they harvest from the lake. Fly the Northwest, Apple Valley News Now, Tuesday at 6. Your favorite number reveals these personality traits. My number is nine. You are charismatic. Oh. Next live from Brad's Andrew McCarthy. Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Tiffany Savona. Good morning and welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. Happy Monday, everyone. It's a nice start to the new work week. I know a lot of kids they have their last days of school this week, so I know a lot of them excited for that. And it's a mild start, a sunny start as we take a live look out of our Dust Devil Sky Cam in Pasco early on this Monday morning. Our temperatures are currently sitting in the 50s and 60s. Not a bad start to start off the work week. We're at 64 in Dry City, 62 Walla Walla, 63 in Hermiston, 59 in Pendleton, 62 at Hanford and 60 degrees in Yakima. You may not even need that extra layer early this morning. If you get cold easily, you may want to grab it just in case. Those winds are out of the southwest anywhere between 5 and about 10, even 12 miles per hour up toward Ellensburg. So the wind speeds will remain on the light side today. Here's the weather pattern. High pressure in control, so the warm weather will continue as temperatures will stay a good bit above the average, which is 81 degrees for this time of year. That high shifts a little bit more to the east tomorrow. That's going to allow an upper level disturbance to pass to our north. It's going to bring us a few more clouds. We're still going to be warm, but it'll bring us more wind tomorrow. That's really going to be the big difference. And then that upper level disturbance continues to move off into Canada. So we really don't have much happening through the middle Middle to end of the work week we'll see more sunshine less wind and we'll still keep it on the warm side so today look for plenty of sunshine the uv index is going to be on the high side so if you have the kids outside for any period of time make sure they have a hat that lightweight clothing and apply that sunscreen and be sure to reapply a lot of folks forget that high temperatures expected to climb to 88 in tri-cities 88 in hermiston 84 in walla walla 87 in yakima and 88 degrees in Toppenish. If you're going to be grilling out tonight, if you need some ideas for dinner, you can fire up the grill. It's just going to be a warm night for the person who is grilling. 88 degrees at 5, 88 at 6, and we're dropping to 87 at 7 o'clock. But the wind will be on the light side, so you don't have to worry about anything kind of flying or blowing away. Tonight, clear and mild. Temperatures fall back down into the mid to upper 50s, so a little bit cooler to start off your Tuesday morning. And Tuesday, you could see there are a few more clouds that will enter the picture. We'll call it partly cloudy at times. And Tuesday, we're still going to be 
warm as well with high temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. It will be a windy day tomorrow. Sustained winds 15 to 25 miles per hour gusting as high as 40 and it looks like we'll top out around 88 again in the Tri-Cities, 87 in Hermiston, 84 in Walla Walla and 85 in Yakima. Weather pattern stays pretty quiet really all week long and into the upcoming weekend. Temperatures start to come down a little bit by the end of the week. A larger storm system will move in by the weekend, but it doesn't look like it'll bring us any rain. Just a few more clouds and some cooler weather. That's uh, good news for all the dads that uh, don't like the heat. Upper 70s by the weekend. Yakima 87 today, 85 and windy tomorrow. And then we're back up to 85 Thursday. 70s making a comeback Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 73 with lows in the 40s. Kind of chilly in the mornings as we head into the weekend. Walla Walla 84 today, 84 windy tomorrow. And then we'll keep it warm right through the rest of the week with lower 70s by Saturday and Sunday. Hermiston 88 today, 87 windy tomorrow. A few more clouds and plenty of sunshine. We see temperatures rise back up to 87 Thursday, only to drop into the upper 70s Saturday and Sunday. Jill and Jessica, back to you. Thank you, Tiffany. Now to an Olympic-sized controversy in women's basketball. Caitlin Clark left off the roster for Team USA this summer. Clark reportedly saying they've awakened a monster. Here's Andrea Fuji. Her rookie year is off to a red-hot start. Clark, a deep one. You can but has been marked by some controversy both on the court. Question is, will they call it unnecessary? And now off it, as Caitlin Clark is snubbed by the U.S. women's Olympic basketball team. What on earth were they thinking? It's just stunning. Clark says U.S. basketball officials called her directly to tell her she had not made the team. Honestly, no disappointment. Like, I think it just gives you something, something to work for. Um, you know, it's a dream. You know, hopefully one day I can be there. Her coach says Clark told her the Olympic snub will only motivate her going forward. The thing she said was, hey, coach, they woke a monster, which I thought was awesome. So why did Clark fail to make the team? Some speculate lack of experience. Of the 12 players on the Olympic team, only three will be first-time Olympians and all have played at least three years of the WNBA. But insiders tell ABC News contributor Christine Brennan there may be another reason for the snub. They were hearing one of the sticking points for Caitlin Clark was that there was concern about her immense fan base being unhappy that she was only getting a few minutes of playing time. If that's true, and I'm still reporting it, that is absolutely unbelievably mind-boggling. It's not only a showcase for her, it's for the sport. How idiotic do the people running this thing have to be? Many analysts call the decision a missed opportunity for Team USA. But sports reporter Ariel Orsuto saying the team will be just fine without Caitlin Clark and she will be just fine waiting another four years for her turn. As for Clark, she appears to be staying positive. I'm excited for them. I'm going to be rooting them on to win gold. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York. Now, there is still a chance Clark could play at the Olympics. If one player is hurt, she could take that player's spot. Sounds like a good plan. And coming up on Good Morning Northwest, many of us know how daunting it can be to go through security at the airport. Next, we meet a man who gets stopped by TSA for a whole case of spam. Yes, that's right, spam. That video that generated one million views on social media, we take a look at it when we come back. You're gonna need a new bumper. Did you say burger? Guac? Santa Fe burger sauce. Burger. Jalapeno pepper. Burger. Cheese. Burger. Spicy cheese bacon. Guac. Cheese bacon. Carl's Jr. on the Diablo is back. Get a single for 5 dollars Big burger! Get burger. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our passion. Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. Get burger! At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through June 30th, receive rebates up to $1,950 off on a new Daikin Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Free flags, sweet treats, and more. Hi, I'm Stacy Lee with Apple Valley News Now's Great American Flag Giveaway. This Friday, starting at 11, come to Tri-Cities Chaplaincy, where the first 50 guests get a new, full-sized American flag. At Tri-Cities Chaplaincy, our goal is to guide the community to live their best lives, even and especially through the end of life. Come learn about our programs and pick up an American flag at Tri-Cities Chaplaincy. Visit us June 14th from 11 to 1 at 1480 Fowler Street, Richland. 
The savings continue with BuyMart's latest savings book, packed full with hot buys for summer and more. Save $3 on Tidy Cat's cat litter, plus save on everything for Father's Day, including a Troy-built 3-in-1 self-propelled mower. Members save $39, save $13 on Western Chief Romeos, now just $49.99, and save $50 on a lifetime Tamarack Angler 10-foot kayak. Save more now only at BuyMart, your employee-owned membership store. Kick off the Memorial Aquatic Park summer season on June 13th at 3 p.m. with our $3 Schools Out special. The 1 p.m. daily open swim will then begin on June 14th for the rest of the summer. Get your season pass, inquire about swim lessons, or sign up for a swim team today. Join all the special events that Pasco Parks and Recreation has to offer all summer long. You can learn more at PascoParksandRec.com. Get fit, have fun, and do more with Pasco Parks and Rec. For 600 different cigars and 125 pipe tobaccos, it's the Educated Cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the Educated Cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the Educated Cigar. At the Educated Cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998, open seven days a week. Give in to your devilish desires. Scorch your taste buds. It's Carl Jr.'s El Diablo Burger. I'm short on cash. It's just $5.99. Fine. The Carl Jr. El Diablo single, just $5.99. Hey, burger! Get burger. Looking for walleye on Lake Pend Tuesday. Here's your close to home forecast. It's a mild start out there this morning. Temperatures are hovering the 50s and 60s, so you may not even need that extra layer as you head out the door. It's 64 in the Tri-City, 62 in Walla Walla, 63 in Hermiston, a little bit cooler in Prosser coming in at 55 and 60 degrees in Yakima. Winds will stay light today. We'll see plenty of sunshine. It's going to be another warm one, similar to how it felt outside yesterday. 88 for your high and top inch today. 87 in Yakima, a little bit cooler in Clea Elm and Ellensburg. If you want the 70s, that's the direction you need to go. 87 in Prosser, 88 to Hermiston, 87 in Moses Lake. Tri-City should top out around 88 degrees, 85 in Connell, and we'll put it in the middle 80s along the foothills of the Blues. 84 in Walla Walla, lower 80s, 81 degrees in Dayton. Ladies. Thank you, Tiffany. And now to a story you'd need to check out. In Massachusetts, a man and his love for spam went viral when he tried to bring a case of it through TSA. The video of his airport encounter has gotten millions of views on TikTok, and he even got a call from the food company. Mike Sullivan has his story. If Mystery Meat had a second cousin, spam would be it. So I was raised on it, and it's a childhood favorite. <laughs> Joel Libed moved to Worcester from Hawaii. There, it's everywhere, even McDonald's. It comes down to texture for a lot of people. When Joel isn't searing a spam breakfast, he's touring. So I love a good sear. He sings for an Irish step dancing group. Our opening night was in Austin, Minnesota, of all places. That's where Hormel's headquarters are. Right across the street from Joel's venue is their spam museum. On his lunch break, he had to take a look. I walked in, I was like, this is like Disneyland. <laughs> At the show that night, a crew member learned of his appetite for spam. She went back to the museum to get him a case. As he left for the airport, he tossed it in his carry-on. The second TSA pulled it off the belt, I was like, oh my gosh. My biggest concern was, they're about to open this carry-on and it's gonna be all spam. How do I explain myself without looking suspicious? <laughs> That's when he started recording the interaction, expecting to be spam shamed. That's a case of spam that I'm taking. <laughs> So I'm like, oh, the, the hickory smoke's really good. Um, I got the bacon in there. Like I was telling him what my stash was. When he put the video on TikTok, it exploded. And before midnight, I hit my first million. Quickly, TSA reached out, wanting to post the video to Instagram. I think as they have been seeing this get bigger and bigger, I actually had spam like call me. The company is sending him a case to add to his collection. They also want to help orchestrate a spam night at the restaurant he works at in Hudson. Yeah, let's do a little bit more for good luck. It's really been a moment he didn't